Hey guys, Reaganite 71 here. I just wanted to uh, make a quick little video. We've got a break in the storms. Uh, I had several people uh, sending me messages asking if we're okay uh, after the storms that hit Moore, Oklahoma yesterday. We are. Thank you so much for your concern. We really appreciate that. What a great community here on YouTube. Uh, we've got a break in the storm. I'm going to show you some radar. Uh, we've had a constant train of thunderstorms, lightning, hail, wind, all of that stuff uh, since about 8.30 last night. So that's going on about 16 hours and we've just had a break uh, from, from that system to the system that's coming uh, here in about an hour or so. And uh, I thought I'd hop out here and show you what, uh, what the garden looks like at least. It's nothing compared to the devastation and horror and unbelievable devastation and tragedy that's going on out in Oklahoma right now and in Moore. I used to drive through there all the time and uh, flew over it all the time. I was a flight instructor out in Norman, Oklahoma back in 2002 and that was a few years after the 99 tornado and they were still rebuilding areas then. Uh, they've got a great spirit and uh, and I know they'll They'll, they'll bounce back. It's just so hard when you think about all the kids that were lost in that tragedy. And so a garden <laughs> and uh, things like that are, are minuscule compared to what they're going through. Uh, anything Stuff is just stuff. You can replace it. You can rebuild it. Uh, humans are another matter altogether. So let's take a look at what I got going on here. First thing I can show you is I had a my wife left a package of plants out and this is the first time I've actually walked out here with the camera so I'm seeing a lot of this stuff as you are. It threw it about 20 feet last night. We'll get that picked up and taken care of. I've got a few little bitty limbs down. Got a lot of standing water. It has just, like I said, it's been raining for about 16 hours with these storms. I opened this up uh, yesterday. I was going to let water pour off and it's, uh, you can see we've had quite a bit of water fall. A lot of standing water. Got a limb down over here. And Lake Reaganite has filled the capacity here. And a few small limbs there. With all that wind, I'm wondering if my corn didn't blow over. Now, you're looking out to the west this way. Uh, if we drew a line and drove in a car for about three and a half hours, we'd hit Oklahoma City. Uh, the stuff is moving really fast, though. It'll be here pretty, pretty soon, this, this latest round. Um, but yeah, lots of water there. The corn, yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just laid it right down last night. I need to get this up right now. <sighs> Pat it down. Come on, little fellas. Live. Live. My goodness. Yeah, we had a lot of straight line wind last night, as you can see there. I've got a lot of corns to set up right. I'm going to do that, and I'll come right back to you. I'm going to get these taken care of. Here's where we stand right now with the weather. We've got a little break going right here. We're in Fort Smith, and we've got a nice big line coming. Uh, it may form into a bow echo if that happens. We could see winds uh, 70, 80 miles an hour real easy. Uh, a lot of times when they bow out like that, we'll get a lot of wind, and it'll blow uh, limbs down. and and create all kinds of problems. Uh, but since it's in a line like this and not supercells, uh, it's a little more organized and you're less likely to have those long track tornadoes like that. So that's a very good thing. But uh, that's where we stand weather-wise and it's allowing me to get out into the garden. Yeah, if you can get to your corn in a situation like this after you've had a big wind event and it blows it over, just get it upright, push, pack some dirt in around it, and uh, it'll be okay. You can't let it sit 
for a long period of time though because I mean you don't want those roots being exposed to air and all that while I was fixing the corn I heard this big crack and I'm gonna walk out here good Lord look at this it picked that thing up <laughs> we had this basket over one of our uh, watermelon plants after the birds started eating it you know I showed you the other day we put that over it to kind of keep them off of it and <laughs> it just blew it right down there good gravy I just heard a big crack out of this tree and I looked over here while I was doing the uh, corn there looks like a we might have had a lightning strike. We heard a really, really loud crash of thunder last night and a big flash of light prior to that. And they were really close together. And so I was pretty sure we had a lightning strike real close to the house. That's a big old tree right there. The kind of issues I've got going on are absolutely nothing though. Compared to what they're dealing with in Oklahoma, this is nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing um, something you might be interested in just as uh, the garden update goes um, we do have ground cherries coming on all over these plants so there's that the tomatoes plants seem to have made it okay a lot of this stuff I am seeing as you're seeing it but You know, I look at all this and and I think about those poor people out in Oklahoma though and it just breaks your heart. It really does. I'm so thankful <laughs> that my family's okay and and we're okay. You got that other line coming in. I'm starting to hear some thunder now too, as a matter of fact. Okay, over here. No standing water today over here. <laughs> A free water feature. I'm going to go ahead and take that okra there. You don't want them to get too long or they get kind of woody. Whoops. A little projectile okra is what that was. My wife doesn't like them any longer than that. So I'll go ahead and take that right on into the house. Eggplant made it okay. Yeah, it's time to trellis the little sunflower, I think, there. Give it some support. Things looking good over here. I sprayed that... Uh, Prayed for that white powdery mildew and shot that video yesterday before the stuff rolled in. And uh, it's looking pretty good. With all the rain we had, I'll be right back to uh, treating that for white powdery mildew real soon, though. That's a lot of moisture. The radishes, just about ready to harvest, I think. Look at that. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Look at that. getting real close in fact get a break in the weather when Mrs. Reaganite comes in later and we can uh, do that and I am not even going to be able to it is just water all the way right there we've had a lot of rain a lot of rain you can hear that wind picking up too got strawberries they're okay. Yeah. I have a rain gauge sitting out here. I'm going to sit this down here, bring it up. And let's see if we can see how much water is in it. Folks, there's five inches in that rain gauge. We've had five inches of rain in the last 16 hours here at the garden, and that would be uh, why we have uh, Lake Reaganite so full. 
found something really weird over here. It seems that I have slugs in the garden. Check this out here. See that right there? You zoom in and get you a better look at that. It drowned. <laughs> How about that? That's a big one too. That's something right there. That's one way to deal with slugs, I guess. Very blessed. Very blessed indeed. Looking at the radar, right now it's just a line. It may form into a bow echo. I don't know, but we'll see. But it uh, could be a lot worse. It could have been a whole lot worse. And it may yet be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this line goes. But our thoughts and our prayers go out to the folks in Oklahoma. It's just unbelievable what they're having to go through right now. I was... Uh, I worked in public safety in 96 and we had an F4 tornado come through uh, town next to Fort Smith over in Van Buren and it was absolutely horrible what it did. If you're thinking about maybe donating, helping out the relief effort in Oklahoma, one place that I could definitely recommend to you is uh, the Salvation Army. When I was, uh, when I was working in uh, public safety they did a lot of good immediately. Salvation Army immediately came in and within hours they had uh, hot food available um, and all kinds of support for the first responders and anybody that would walk up to one of their one of their uh, mobile kitchens. Uh, if you needed food, you had it. Um, so if you want to do something that would help people immediately, you might think about giving to them because they come in and they really do um, hit the ground running. Uh, and uh, they're good stewards of people's donations, I believe. But uh, that's just my own personal thoughts on that matter. If you're, if you're thinking about helping out, that would be a great place to do it. And I know people would really appreciate it there. Uh, they have so much to deal with and so much to worry about. Um, if they don't have to worry about where, where they're going get, to uh, get something to drink or something to eat, that means the world because then they can focus on dealing with their property, looking for their loved ones, um, things that are absolutely critical right now. And so that would be a good thing to do. Guys, this is Reaganite 71. Thank you for your thoughts, your concern. We got it blowing in, so I'm going to wrap this up and head inside and watch the radar, I guess. It'll be here in just a few minutes. But I uh, hope everybody stays safe out there. And uh, have a good spring, everybody.